What's up, Libras? <laughs> it's CJ, and I'm back. I'm about, to, I'm about to do a reading for you for the first week in May that's coming. I hope you get some out of this reading. If you do, like my channel and subscribe to it so you can get more readings from me when I post them. I hope you're having a good Sunday, Libras. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I hope you get some out of it. If you've been here before and you're a Libra, appreciate you for being here. We're going to get straight into it. We're going to deal with the energies for what's coming to you in the first week in May. I'm using two different decks this time, Libras. I'm using the Right Awake deck and I'm using the Blue deck. I'm pulling you three cards from the Right Awake deck first. Then I'm going to pull from the Blue deck and I'm going to put three cards on top of the three cards that I pulled for me. The first card that I pull is going to be a, 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 your overall energy. The next two cards are going to be the story. And then it's going to be blue cards on top of those. So all together you're getting six cards. You understand what I'm saying? I hope you're having a good day. I really mean that. I ain't just saying that either, you know. My weekend was pretty good, you know. I've just been watching God handle my business as I humble myself, you know. Spirit going to show us the energies for my Libra peoples out there from May 1st to May 7th. Let's see what's going on, Libras. Let's see what's going on, Libras. This is my favorite deck right here. It's simple. It's old school, but it's simple. The right of weight deck. This is the original tarot deck. All right, Libras. Your car is ready, Libra. I got the right of weight deck out of the way. I do it like this from time to time. If you've seen me read before, you've seen me use one deck per reading. Now I'm using two. I, I've used three before. I've used four. I've used playing cards and tarot at the same time. I just do it different ways, you know. It works for me that way. Believers, we're getting ready to get right into your reading. <clears throat> I believe your cards is ready now. They fresh. And they hot. Your overall energy, Libras, is a two of swords. This is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, such as yourself, Gemini. Right now, this is your first card out. You feel stuck between a decision that you have to make soon. You don't know if you should go left or right. Two of Swords. You don't know if you should go left or right. There's a decision intellectually that you got to make soon. And it's paired with the Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is a core card because it's the Queen of Swords. This could be you have to make a decision this week. A very crucial decision too, uh, Libra. 
The reason why it's two swords is because you can go in one direction or the other. And you know you can't you, you can't be in two different places at one time. You have to either go east or you have to go west. That's just the way it is. And you're going to have to make a sharp, crisp, tr truthful decision this week. <clears throat> now let's find out what this decision is. Mm-hmm. I knew it had something to do with the relationship. The Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is drinking and having fun and flirting and, and going out to eat and drink and all that type of stuff. This is a celebration. This is a reunification. This is a reconciliation. This is uh, 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 joyful times. This is a party, a picnic, a staycation, a vacation, a vacation, or whatever you want to call it, Asian. This is that, Libra. You feel me? It's paired with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is an emotional walking away from. It's the emotional walking away from. From the Three of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra. It's emotions. That's why I'm mentioning those signs. It's, it's an emotional thing now. It's an emotional situation you're walking away from. You got to make a decision this week. And you know you do with that two of swords. You're like, I don't know. I don't know if this one or that one. I don't know. See what I'm saying? I want to I wanna celebrate with this water sign person here. I really want this cancer, or I really want this Pisces, Pisces or, or Scorpio, but I done walked away from them. Or they walked away from you, Libra. Somebody walked away, or y'all both did. It looked like this is somebody you used to deal with. It looked like they want to come back, but you walked away or they walked away from you. I, it probably was you. Now you don't know what decision to make with the two two of uh swords. You like I don't know. Should I should I should I entertain this? You see what I'm saying? Cause I'm sensing that. I'm sensing that you you you. Yeah yeah, facts. You want facts? Here's facts. You wouldn't be in the two of swords energy if you didn't have feelings for a particular water sign. There's a water sand person that you attracted to. Y'all had something going on. Y'all had a relationship or something. You used to date this person. You used to kick it with this person. You have had sex with this person and all kind of stuff. That's what I'm talking about. You walked away from the relationship. You cut them off. For whatever reason. I don't know who was right and wrong and all that. Take two to tangle. That's all I know. But you at a crossroads because you got feelings for somebody you used to be with. But yet you trying to figure out should you just leave, let that be in the past when you just going on with your life or what? That's where you at. And you're going to have to make a decision this week on that. Let's see what. What what this what these two cards says? Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Told you it was a water sign. You holding on tight or you holding back from a King of Cups? P Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is a core card. This this could be a person you used to you 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 deal with, want to deal with, or used to deal with. You the, the the Libras that's connected with me right now. You used to deal with a water sign. A lot of y'all used to deal with a Pisces. A lot of y'all used to deal with a, a a a Libra Libra Scorpio cusp person. Four Pentacles is holding tight, holding back, holding on. King of Cups, Earth Sign Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You 
holding on to those thoughts, holding on to your stuff. You're holding on to some secrets you got inside. This is who you want. I mean your business. This is who you want. Man or woman, you want the King of Cups energy. You want that loving, mysterious person that you 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 used to be with. See? You're trying to figure out which way to go. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody now, Libra. I don't I don't know if you're dealing with nobody right now. But all I know is you at a crossroads, so you care about a particular water sign. They got it in the chart somewhere. Okay? You walked away from it. Y'all split up, broke up, put it that way. Y'all y'all connection ended probably eight months ago. Y'all used to drink together. Y'all used to watch movies together. Y'all used to go out, hang out, do bowling. Y'all used to do the family thing. Y'all used to kick it with each other's friends. That's the person I'm talking about. You get my drift? And a lot of y'all, I'm even getting for a small few of y'all, some of y'all have, with that four pentacles, you've held back. You kept yourself in a safe place. You haven't given yourself to anybody else since you and this water sand person disconnected. You've been keeping yourself. Well, y'all about to reconnect because see the three of cups is leading to that king of cups. See what I'm saying? That's the story that I'm getting out of these cards. Some of y'all was led to this channel to hear exactly what I'm saying because you know you at a crossroads. You don't know if you should let it in or what. But you've been holding on for a long time in your mind. You've been holding it in your in your thoughts. And deep down inside, you've been thinking, I love the out that person. Man, why couldn't we push past the the uh the the, the obstacles? I'm gonna tell you why you couldn't. Drink some good old cold water. Because y'all ego. You hear me, woman? Because of your ego and his ego. It was not just him. It was you too. You said he want to act like that? I would shut down on him. I ain't going to text him back out. Y'all need to stop it. Y'all need to stop it, Libra. Yep, I'm in your business. It's okay, though. You feel me? I don't wish doom on people and stuff like that. I give them the facts. I tell them exactly what I'm seeing. I don't give a damn about no sunshine and butterflies every time. I want truth. Y'all represent the sword. Truth. Don't you want truth? Well, I'm giving you the truth. At least eight of you going to comment and hit the like button and say, you know what? You, you are absolutely right. <clears throat> You the queen of swords. You got to make a decision soon. That's the energy from May 1st to 7th that's going to be surrounding you. I have to make this decision. I still love my water sign person. Man or woman. It's in their chart. They got emotional, an emotional thing going on with them. Okay. With the eight of cups. That tells me that you walked away from it and or y'all mutually walked away from each other. Y'all split emotionally. But y'all stay connected, I believe. I believe y'all stay connected on the low. Secretly, y'all kept each other in each other's hearts. And then y'all just went silent and shit like that. Well, you're trying to figure out should you reach out to, to this person, this particular person. You trying to figure out, are they going to ever reach out to you? I tell you this, Libra woman, you'll be surprised what happened if you reach out first. If you stick to 
the the whatever it's called. Well, oh, he has to do this and she has to do that because see how how does this sound? If he got to make the move every time, and if that's the right thing, or or let's say that's the godly thing, how about this? You should always cook, clean, have his baby, because see that's that's a woman's thing too. You you should always do those things. He should never cook. No, no, he's a man. You're a woman. If he has to make the move with text first, call first every time, then let's make it fair. Libra's about balancing the scales, right? Let's balance them. He should never cook. Your next husband or boyfriend or baby daddy or whatever you're going to get involved with, shouldn't you? he should never cook. He should never massage your feet, your back, or none of that stuff. That ain't no man thing. That's a woman thing. See how ignorant that sounds? Women, Libras, you know why you're at a crossroads? Because you want, oh, I feel your story. I feel your story. You want to reach out to this person that you used to be with, but you're being damn stubborn. You stubborn in the motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> you said, CJ, he ain't called me. He ain't text. I don't give a 